Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Today I'm filming a QA. I've not done one for a very, very long time, so I thought this would be a great opportunity for you guys to ask me questions and it's also helpful to anyone that's new who wants to get to know me a little bit more. Thank you so much to anyone that left me a question. Um, I will try and answer as many of these questions as possible. If you see me melting, I'm melting because today it's 40 degrees. It is so so hot and um, it's literally as hot as morocco right now and in the uk our houses are not built for hot weather so i'm melting and i cannot put the fan on we don't have air con i'm melting i'm literally melting the first question is update on your journey to becoming a full-time creator and how it's going do you have support from family and friends i'm constantly trying to get people to respect my home office boundaries and take what I do seriously. Curious if you deal with these issues. Oh, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. I definitely have struggled. For me, I found that it's really hard to get people to respect what you do when they don't fully understand it. So when people come to me and they ask me questions, I try to answer um, as honestly and openly as possible if they have genuine questions. I've also had situations where people have asked me questions but I feel like they're just mocking me. Content creating, being an influencer, um, it comes with loads of perks but but in some ways people don't understand they feel like it's not a real job it's not a real career path you don't do anything there's nothing behind the scenes that they don't see um so i just try to answer people's questions as best as possible i have struggled with um people close around me um making me feel like what i'm doing is not real not that they physically said that but just you can get that feeling can't you it is really hard i'm sorry that you're going through that but what i would say is try not to focus on that keep doing what you're doing because it will pay off you know sometimes people can look at content creation and think wow it looks so easy it looks so fun god there's so many perks to the job which not gonna lie they are there are a lot of perks to the job but sometimes i feel like people can minimize you or um dismiss what you're doing because secretly inside they kind of wish they had what you had maybe it can be the opportunities that you get personally speaking my content creation journey um i'm loving it as you can tell i love doing this um job this career path i am so grateful that i am born in a time where i can do a job like this um, and have the opportunities don't get me wrong there's definitely ups and downs with this career path but um so far everything's going well and i'm thoroughly enjoying it next question is i wanted to know what made you start a youtube channel and has youtube been beneficial to you mentally emotionally financially um okay so what made me start my youtube channel i started my youtube channel years ago i'm going to be completely honest with you um, what made me start a YouTube channel? I had just lost my mum um, and I was going through a really, really hard time and um, I'd watched I'd watched YouTube since I was like 11 or something or whenever YouTube started years and years ago and I was obsessed with makeup videos and I would watch them all of the time and um, anyway, I'd recently lost my mum and I was just in a really dark place emotionally just feeling very lonely and feeling like the people around me i just couldn't connect with people around me and i wanted to find like-minded people i wanted to find like-minded people who had similar interests to me and i just wasn't getting that from every day from the people in my uh, life so i created my youtube channel um as a hobby as something to do um as a way of connecting with people doing youtube and instagram is now my full-time career it's given me a career path it's given me purpose um specific specifically with youtube but i feel like youtube people who watch my youtube i'm like i feel like you really get to know who i am um so um yes youtube has benefited me youtube has benefited me in so many different ways um when i'm feeling down or i'm feeling low and i don't want to do anything and i have no energy i will literally switch on my vlogging camera and talk to you guys and it makes me feel so much better it brings me back to that 17 year old um who was you know looking to find people and um it's given me it gave me joy then and it continues to give me joy now so i'm so thankful for this youtube channel and people who watch and yeah i'm just 
you guys will never understand how grateful I am for this platform. I've built my own community where I felt like I didn't really have one before. Um, it's given me a career. Um, it's just so much purpose. I absolutely love doing this and I hope I can do this forever. <laughs> did you feel insecure and low self-confident at one point? And what did you do to change that? I struggle like most people, I assume. Yes, I have struggled with low self-esteem. Right now, what I'm trying to do is um, be healthier and uh, eat better. I'm trying to exercise as much as possible, whether that be going for a run outside or going on the treadmill. Um, running and putting my favourite music on, honestly, it's just... I just feel I just feel all of the endorphins just coming on having good people around you who you can be honest and open with is always really good also if I'm feeling low um, sometimes it can be because I'm I've been around myself a bit too much I need to start like I need to go outside whether that be just go for a walk go into town go and look around the shops go to the park do something where I'm seeing people even if I'm just gonna be hanging out with myself. Put on a nice outfit which makes you feel comfortable and good. The next question is, can we get an updated wig collection? I literally have this wig which is very new. I'll leave the video down below where I talk about this hair and also a black wig. Um, yeah. Oh, I also have the wig which I dyed but I, I feel like I don't have enough wigs to do a collection. I'm the kind of person where I will buy a wig and I will wear it to literally the lace is showing and it's balding that's me <laughs> the next two questions are kind of linked so um the first one is how long have you been with your boyfriend we've been together for seven years seven eight years yeah quite a long time do you think you would be as happy as you are if you were not in a relationship i do think i would be happy true happiness has to come from within um so yes i definitely do think that i would be happy even if i wasn't in a relationship um, but I definitely feel like being in a good relationship um, with someone who you love is, you know, just heightens that. I just feel even happier that I'm with someone who I care about and who cares about me. Do you like being a full-time influencer? Yes, I love being an influencer, content creator. I think it's just the best job in the world. The freedom, the ability to be as creative as I want, um, the opportunities that I get um all of that is just incredible but there's definitely cons i feel like one of the main cons for me are the fact that there's i feel like i do so many different roles within one job like i'm a video editor um i shoot content i shoot and film my own content with my own camera um i edit all my own content on different softwares on my computer i'm in charge of my own finances invoicing reading my own contracts just so many different roles that if you worked in an organisation, you would pass it on to that department, but I am the department. It can get a little bit overwhelming, but I love it. I would not choose to do any other career but this. Next question is, could you please do a reel on how you style your hair? I mean, I would, but right now it's too hot. I curled my hair earlier on and it's literally so frizzy like there's a reason why i put that bit of hair behind me and it's because it's really frizzy the humidity the heat i'll have to wait until it cools down a little bit and then i will do a hair video first luxury bag recommendation mm, i would probably go for a contemporary brand so i would either go for a uh, coach or pollen i've done a pollen handbag collection so i'll link that in the description box and coach do beautiful bags i only have one which i got at the outlet um, i would also recommend you to go to outlets you can get really nice bags at a really good price and um, if you want to go a bit above contemporary you want to spend a little bit more money i mean i used to recommend ysl but definitely not personally i would not buy a ysl bag if you know the drama then you know the drama personally i really like the balenciaga hourglass hourglass bag i know it's kind of like a trendy bag but i love it and um i think it's just a really beautiful elegant bag i know it's in love it or hate it but i personally really love it um brands like chloe i would dabble into but um, then you have to consider whether the bag is something that you feel like it's going to be with you forever because i feel like chloe is a very trendy brand the bags are really popular then they kind of go down a little bit but if that doesn't bother you then just buy it and um, gucci is another brand that 
I love, I have my Gucci Marmont crossbody bag, which I love. Um, the quality is really good as well, so I would definitely recommend um, Gucci as well. I'm trying to think of other brands. Another brand which I'd recommend, uh, a UK brand, is Mulberry. Um, they do really good quality um leather handbags at reasonable prices as well if you live if you live in the uk head on down to bista village have a look around there i feel like they have so many different designer brands have a look and um yeah hopefully you'll find the bag of your dreams i love your home what would you call your style thank you so much um my home style i would describe that as minimal calming neutral <laughs> if you follow my home page then you know that we don't really like to play with color uh, we like to play with textures and um, that's just what we like in our home when we we're looking at getting this house we knew what kind of style we wanted and i knew how i wanted to feel when every time i entered my home when we were in the process of buying this house i was going through a really hard time and um i just remember thinking i want to feel calm every time i walk into my home whether that be the tones that we use the textures that we play with the smell we thought about everything we thought about everything and that is exactly how i feel every time i'm in my home and i walk into a different room i just feel calm i feel at peace personal style again i would probably say the same thing minimal neutral uh yeah somebody asked what do you use to film your reels uh camera or iphone i use my canon g7x which i used to film this video and also sorry which i used to film my youtube content and also instagram content i just and i also use it to take all of my pictures i feel like the quality is there um, the only issue that I'm having with mine personally is that it's literally falling apart and that the focus is really hit or miss. A question which I get a lot is, are you in any way connected to South Africa? And it's funny, actually, when I answered this question on Instagram, somebody said, but you even look South African. I'm Congolese, okay? I'm a Congolese girl. I think the reason why people ask me that is because of my last name. It's a South African name, um, so that's why people get it confused but no i'm congolese um and as far as i'm i feel like everybody is mixed with different nationalities and nobody's a hundred percent anything um so i probably do have some south african in me especially if my name is tied to that side of the world um but yeah as far as i am aware i am a congolese girl nobody ever ever guesses that i'm congolese i don't know why did you do any sightseeing or excursions in roads or did we just stay in the resort so roads we mainly stayed in the resort hotel during the day and then we did a little bit more exploring uh, in the evening because it's just too hot it's too hot to do anything during the day i am not a hot person kind of per i'm not a hot like sunbathe kind of person i do not sunbathe i don't want to walk in the sun i don't want to sweat i want to feel the heat i want to be with you know feel it but whilst i'm in the shade so we chilled during the day and then we did a little bit more exploring during the evening when it's cooler um but the holiday was a relaxing holiday the run-up to the holiday was stressful <laughs> um and it was our first holiday and for me personally i really wanted to just chill and relax and do nothing i mean i didn't do nothing i was editing reels every day but hey ho what's my favorite perfume so i love baccarat rouge 540 by maison francis curdijan i don't actually have a full-size bottle of it i have a sample of it which i will um which i use all the time but i'm gonna buy a full-size bottle for my birthday and um, it's quite a pricey perfume and i have some points at how so i'm going to use those points towards that perfume um so yeah, i love that one but that one is more of an evening one um one which i recently got is the Mol molten brown heavenly gingerly perfume every time i spray this jack's like what are you wearing i think this is i think this is his favorite scent on me because usually he doesn't even notice but every time i wear this he notices so i've been wearing this a lot um i love this one here so this is the uh, Dior Jadio perfume. This one I love because my mum used to wear it and just reminds me of her. Two which I love from Penhaligon are Impressa. I've had this one for about a year, 
this is my first ever Penhaligon perfume it just smells expensive okay when you're wearing this in my opinion you smell expensive this one is lighter fresher very feminine love both scents I am very much a light smell I'm not the biggest fan of oud smells it's just not my vibe um another one another one which i love is la vie belle from lancome jack's mum gets me this every single year and i literally have this one which is about mm, i'd say about two thirds done and then i have another full size bottle um but yeah i love this one and i've loved this one for a very very long time how old am i i am 25 and i'm turning 26 in about two months time just under two months time uh okay top three brands i'm guessing not i'm guessing you're saying fashion brands i love h&m h&m is hands down my favorite high street brand because their homeware is incredible the clothes banging the, the quality reflects the price they're reasonably priced they're affordable i usually shop in the women's section and online because my local h&m is just lacks all of the good stuff um but yeah i buy like all of my knits from there i buy all of my linen stuff like their winter stuff is banging their summer stuff is banging and the price is good to me it's so much better than zara second i would probably say zara because i mean yeah zara i do love zara i buy things here and there i went off of them for a bit and then i'm fully back on as you guys can probably tell because you know i'm just buying stuff from zara all the time and then i go off of them again um but yeah i do like zara but i'd say number three is probably new look I do love new look and it's a brand which i've worn since i was a teenager like when i'd get invited to like random little parties or family do's or whatever i'd be like yeah i need to go to new look to get my outfit get my shoes reese is a brand which i'm kind of getting in the loop with because i um i know i'm going way over top three so but i'm in the mood now so let's just keep it going um reese is a brand which my boyfriend jack uh loved his whole wardrobe is reese but it's not really a brand which i never i ever really like dabbled in and then i bought the most beautiful dress ever from reese like it's a white dress fits beautifully oh it's just stunning and it's linen the quality is amazing it was pricey okay i felt a bit sick when i was you know pressing the buy button but i just knew when i bought it i would wear this dress forever and i wore it on friday the friday just gone and um i got so many compliments on that dress i literally had people stop me in london where's the dress from i was like babe it's reese it's reese it's reese pretty lavish is another brand which i really, really like it's founded by two women two sisters love their clothes quality is amazing yeah another brand which i love you guys i'm sure if you've been around you would have seen me uh style a lot of their clothing abercrombie oh my gosh abercrombie uh is another brand which i love and uh, i've been wearing for the last like two years their basics incredible their dresses oh my gosh the green dress the green dress the green dress is just what i wear on heat waves like when i finish filming this video i'm gonna go put that green dress on because it's just airy and beautiful uh, yeah abercrombie their jeans as well their curve love jeans i love yeah abercrombie is definitely a top top i actually think it's better than zara like take zara off put abercrombie up there yeah <laughs> i've had quite a few questions on my workout routine how have you lost weight what do you do to stay in shape um do you work out i have as far as i'm aware i have not lost any weight i mean i do really fluctuate in weight sometimes i gain three pounds sometimes i do nothing and it's gone um so i do fluctuate in weight quite a bit i am on a health kick right now mainly for my mental health because I need it i do need it and um exercise is really helping me right now i am purposefully trying to be healthier but i'm not like trying to lose weight i'm very comfortable in my body in my shape um yeah but in terms of day to day all i do is i eat pretty healthy i am currently trying to go for runs like two three times a week going for walks 
daily here and there um, but now that the weather's really good it just makes it so much easier um, but yeah we bought a treadmill from Facebook marketplace for like 50 quid the best 50 quid I've ever spent but yeah we bought a treadmill and I've been going for runs um, on that because it's too hot even on early in the morning also I can run on my treadmill in the garage wigless I mean come on that's a big pro that's a huge pro i used to do more heavy like lifting and stuff and um heavy squatting but actually i prefer when i'm a bit more streamlined i i'm naturally quite muscular person like it doesn't take a lot for me to um build muscle it really doesn't it really doesn't and i think i'm naturally quite shapely i've always had thick thighs um shapely um and because i don't put a lot of fat on the top half of my body if i'm like if i'm doing a lot of heavy lifting i just i look jacked okay and i don't always like that look on me on other women beautiful but on me i don't always like that when i'm wearing dresses i just yeah so i just do running and it makes me feel good and i listen to good music and that's just how i'm doing honestly there's nothing like mind-blowing about it oh someone said i love your vlog so calm and down to earth oh my gosh you guys this honestly thank you so much to anybody that watches my vlogs they're my favorite videos to film i get excited about editing my vlogs will you do a one bag different outfit video oh that is a good idea but i feel like i maybe might get a bit repetitive but they've also asked what's your bag of the moment i have so many bags of the moment i feel like if i gave you one answer it just would not be genuine um i'm loving the trendy right now let me let me just grab it i'm loving my trendy right now i did a whole video on the bag but i'm really thoroughly loving her i feel like i've gone through a bit of a love and then hate i bought her ages ago didn't use her wasn't really in the mood for bags and then i used her the other day and i've used her and got i used her for the first time got scratches then started thinking oh my god have i made a mistake then i used her again and since then i've thoroughly enjoyed using the bag um and just accepted that if i get a scratch on her it's okay it's not the end of the world and at the end of the day it's just a bag another bag which i mean this is my all-time this is my all-time favorite bag ever and i'm surprised how much i have used her in summer because it's just not a summer bag but my classic flap i'm not even going to talk about her for too long i think i might film my handbag video i think i might film my handbag collection video today what time is it have i got time because i've got some editing to do eh, maybe not but yeah i'm gonna film my handbag collection i'm gonna film my handbag collection very soon the next bag which is just going to represent all of my pollen bags is this one i actually have a plan unboxing in my vlog coming up if you follow me on instagram then you may know what it is but yeah i love all of my plan bags those are the actually plan is actually the brand which i use the most at day to day because it has no branding and nobody knows at the, nobody knows that it's a luxury bag but it actually is oh my god somebody said not a question you're gorgeous you are my baby sister in my head the kindness that you guys give me i am so grateful thank you so so much thank you so much what language do you speak apart from english i speak lingala which i mean because i'm not around congolese people all the time i need to brush up on my lingala and um, that's like the national language of congo uh well congo the drc and also little congo i think we both speak lingala um and then i also speak uh well i can't even say that anymore but french is just there i'm not very good at it and i really should be because literally i did it at school did it in college family all speak french but i do speak french i'm not i could have a conversation okay i mean if i went on a holiday to a french-speaking country and jack was there he would be like oh my gosh you're incredible and i'm like mm, but i'm not but i'm not but yeah french a little bit last question which i'm going to answer is have you thought about getting a social media agency i'm guessing they mean like a manager thought about it and i've been approached by a few managers and these are the kind of conversations which i have actually with so many other fellow content creators they're asking do you know do you have a manager can you recommend me any 
is it worth doing and i've definitely heard pros and cons of having a manager and not having a manager i personally do not have one and even though earlier i was like well this and that and that i like to have control of this whole thing at the end of the day i am self-employed and this is my business and i want to know and i i want to know everything to do with my business and uh, i like to have that control and to be honest the only part of the job which i don't like is i mean the trolls yeah but um is editing i don't like sitting and editing for hours and hours and hours and oh gosh it's so draining looking at your own face listening to your own voice and all the silly things that i have to cut out um but apart from that i do like every other aspect of the job i like talking to the brands myself i feel like that's such a, uh, an important aspect of my job is building relationships with these brands now if a manager is doing it for me then the brands don't really get to know me and my personality and how i talk and the phrases that i use and do you know what I, mean? I can't really um reflect my personality if someone else is doing it so yeah i i don't feel like and also i'm able to manage every aspect of this business what i do here um i have the time and the capacity i can do it there are some times where i'm work well often i'm working on weekends or i'm working late in the evening but i absolutely love doing this it's not painful apart from when i'm editing that is painful <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for, ask, for asking me questions. I'm definitely going to try to do this maybe in the next few months, maybe towards the end of the year. I will try and do this video again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found this useful and you got to know me and just got to know my personality a little bit more. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.